Hi friends, this is Sri from Techie Talks AI. This video is very important. This is the shortest video you can ever find to take you from zero to hero in full stack development using Next.js. That is Next.js, Tailwind CSS, TypeScript, Node.js and Docker. From absolute beginner to professional developer, each module is a self-contained project inside Docker Compose. Just Docker Compose up and you can learn by doing it. So welcome to module two, where we'll see the addition of Tailwind CSS, layout and reusable components. So this module introduces styling, design structure and UI composition. So they will click Control C to come out of the Docker Compose and CD into module two. We will say Docker Compose up. Let's wait for the project to be ready. We can close this module one folder and module two, app folder. We have an about folder, which has the page.js inside. And the root of app, we have the page.js and layout.js. We also have a globals.css. Okay, so let's refresh. See this, see the styles have changed. It has become beautiful, isn't it? Just by adding Tailwind. So if you look at layout.ts, uh, see here, body, these are all Tailwind classes. We don't need to edit the CSS at all. Just knowing few simple Tailwind syntax, we should be able to build sophisticated websites. So again, app structure is, we have an about folder. So we have, so we have an about page also. So if you click on this about page, you will notice that it is loading the about page, but see on top, the URL did not change. So these are all reactive components. Sections of page, it can dynamically load. So in page.cs6, if you put a few more dots, see, immediately it gets reflected on your page. So this is a super quick demo of how to make your simple web page beautiful by adding Tailwind CSS. Clear? Let's move on. So key takeaway of module two is, we now understand the professional styling and component driven UI. What is component driven UI? The about page itself is that, when you click on about, that section of the page gets reloaded inside our layout. So the top URL on the browser is not changing. Okay, that is it.